Hey guys, thank you for joining me for this week's reading. I'm going to be working with tarot and I'm also going to draw a card from the Indigo Angel Oracle cards. I'm just going to pull this, these cards out. This is the deck I'm using, okay? So let's get started. As always, these are general readings, so the messages may or may not apply to you. So with that being said, let me just tune into the cards and let's see what's coming through. What does Spirit want to bring through for this week for the collective? I'm being shown the strength card in my mind's eye. So I feel like you guys are gathering a lot of strength and kind of just containing that strength. That's what I'm getting. But let's see what messages are coming. What messages need to come for the sweet, please? Three cards. Oh, wow. Okay. We have two cards that actually fell out. So, okay. So the first card we have is the Eight of Cups. Okay. So what I'm feeling as I look at this card is you walking away. You walking away from situations that have served their purpose okay whether this was this has to do with relationships this has to do with job this has to do with you know relocation whatever it is for you there are things that have served their purpose and you are transitioning and you are moving forward and sometimes you know guys it's easy to say move forward because sometimes physically we can move forward but energetically we still have to work on ourselves to kind of completely move forward so there's never really a move forward it's always like you know you learn from every experience you learn from um you know from all these cups like there is it's not like you just turn away and move away it's like you got something from each of these cups and when i say these cups i mean you know for some people this has to do with jobs this has to some for some people this has to do with relationships and everyone that enters our life serves a purpose so but you know there comes a point when when that purpose has been served and you need to move forward and that's what i'm getting the sense with this card it's not always the easiest card i will tell you that like emotionally it is quite challenging okay so interestingly because i'm flipping these cards as they're coming forward so we have the seven of wands okay so with this card i feel like okay what i'm getting is oh when i look at both of these is like you've upgraded and when i say that is what i mean is you know you've gone through certain life lessons you've gone through certain situations and it has kind of you've grown in a way through those experiences okay you've evolved and now it's like those same situations they don't hold that same um you know like you're not you, they don't hold the same excitement for you okay just like this they don't hold the same excitement for you and if there are some people in your life that are triggering you it's almost like i don't want to go back to these situations i don't want to i don't want to fight back that's what i'm getting with this car like i don't want to deal with them i don't want to fight with them i don't want to do anything i just want to protect that which is mine so this is a card where you have to stand your ground and in some situations yes sometimes we have to stand our ground and we have to learn to say no and we have to learn to protect our boundaries and that's all part of learning how to take care of yourself and that's pretty important just like everything else okay setting healthy boundaries and wow look at this card guys this is the third card that came out it's the judgment card okay so the judgment you know this is a major arcana so you're questioning a lot of things and so for some of you a lot of things from your past are coming up and when i say they're coming up 
it doesn't have to always mean people from the past but it could be but it this is like you know things from the past things that and sometimes these things can go as back as your childhood like you will notice that let's say you had to deal with the person and if you look at the root cause of it you may find that this person is very similar to my mom or this person is very similar to my dad or you know or there could be certain certain uh, wounds that or certain things that you did not deal with or you just kind of covered up when you were a child and that person is kind of just springing out everything <laughs> that you covered that you never wanted to face within yourself and what they're doing is they're actually helping you look how these it's almost like what i'm feeling is like airing it out okay that's what i'm getting so it's like these people are coming out from their graves and they're you know praying for salvation i'm also hearing second chance but uh, what they're saying is i want a new life that's what i'm getting with this so it's when I, when I look at these three cards, like you're moving away from certain situations, you're also protect, you're very protective of your energy. With the seven of wands, you're very protective of your time, you're very protective of your space, you're very protective of everything that you build for yourself. And here you are, it's like new life new chapter you're evaluating basically I, I do feel like you're evaluating a lot of things from your past you're evaluating why certain situations didn't work out for you you're evaluating why relationships didn't turn out the way you expected or why certain job didn't pan out for you whatever this is you're understanding you're questioning and with the judgment you're doing a lot of self-reflection and you're changing this is like you know, I'm getting um, Goddess Kali in my mind. It's like, you know, that energy of this is like, this is hardcore. This is tough. Okay. This is not easy energy, guys. That's, that's what I'm feeling. It's not easy. You're questioning a lot of things and maybe some people from the past are also coming up. But more than that, I feel this is an internal change that you're going through. Okay. Okay. And the card that came out from the Indigo is indigo angel oracle is show appreciation okay and uh, with this card i'm also feeling that it's time to kind of appreciate yourself it's time to appreciate your journey it's time to appreciate how far you have come the tiger has been coming up a lot for me especially the tiger and the lion is the totem that, that i've been connecting with a lot so i'm not surprised to see the tiger here and what i'm getting is you know the other message that i'm getting with this tiger especially is you've survived a lot like you've been through a lot with this like you you've had to battle out so many situations you you've had to really fight to even protect yourself to even protect your self-esteem to protect your turf to protect your life to protect everything that you worked for and what i'm getting from these cards is and especially this one is you're not weak you're not a weak person even if she's an angel she's gentle she's beautiful she's sensitive but there's a tiger within you there's a tiger within you to leap out to protect yourself to stand up for yourself to voice out okay so that's what i'm getting with this show appreciation for yourself and your journey and how far you have come okay and uh and i'm getting don't be afraid of any situation don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone for a lot of you like a lot of things are gonna change like you can't go back to the way you were living in the past you're gonna be going through a lot of changes within yourself and i feel like you are evaluating but do pause and do appreciate your strength do appreciate your journey do appreciate how far you've come okay don't just don't just beat yourself up because generally we tend to we all tend to do that we beat ourselves up for you know not being good enough or not doing this enough or whatever it is in our minds right but you have to appreciate that you did the best with the understanding that you had in each situation okay and for some reason i feel the need to say drink more water also so that's also coming up but you need to understand that everything served a purpose and you can be gentle and yet be very strong so i'm going to leave at that i hope you guys enjoyed this reading i will see you next week thank you so much for watching